In this video, I introduce a deep reinforcement learning for autonomous vehicle control. The trend in self-driving is to use uh, the camera image so long generated by online onboard uh, cameras to uh, find the driving policy because uh, uh, onboard uh, cameras are much cheaper than the LiDAR devices. Right now, we use uh, double deep cube learning to find the uh, driving policy using only the image as the input. We use exactly the Q network that uh, was uh, proposed uh, in the plain uh, Atari games. First, uh, like uh, we you know, uh, use a convolutional neural network as a Q function approximator. And then now uh, we define this uh, TD error as two terms. One is a target, another one is a, is a current value at state S and uh, action A. Using this uh, TD error to train this uh, Q network, find the driving policy. However, in uh, practical problems, we uh, cannot get a stable uh, policy by using the Q, net, Q learning method. So we need to uh, introduce uh, two special techniques. One is experience replay, another one is uh, uh, double Q network. Experience replay splits uh, the sequential samples into one step of experience. That's a uh, uh, table, uh, it's a current state. And uh, this action taken at the current state our agent moves from his current state to next state and receives this uh, real one. And then we put this uh, one-step experience in the replay buffer. When we train the model, we just sort of pick uh, uh, the samples from the uh, replay buffer. In this way, we can uh, break the correlation between the samples in a sequence sampling. A second is that uh, Double uh, Q network. Double Q network, we use two networks. One is a Q network, another is a target network. We just uh, train the Q network. This uh, target network just, uh, user, is used to uh, generate a target. So to use a pretty decent method to train the model, we need to define a loss function here. This is the target. You include the two parts. One is the, is the reward, the second part is the uh, Q value function generated by the target network. We only need to train the Q network to find the uh, optimum policy. The target network just uh, used to generate a target. That means we don't need to train it. When we run it, we just uh, copy the parameters from a Q network uh, to uh, the target network and run a forward path to generate this uh, Q value function. And then now we use this uh, a target to train the Q network in a supervised manner. And then now when we get the, when we get the uh, converted result, and we can uh, find the optimal or driving policy. In reinforcement learning, a big challenge is how to we design reward function. For example, right now here, we see here is the uh, four action space. I include the total nine actions. Uh, like here is no operation. This uh, make a right turn. And then this uh, speed up at the same time or make a left turn. And so on, we have a total nine actions. Uh, the, the purpose is uh, at a stage, how can you find the driving policy and uh, receive all the Maximum reward. That's the cause. For the ref, uh, for the reward function, we try for example try two type of uh, reward functions. R one this uh, C is a collision. R O is uh, off road. S is a uh, speed. Uh, so uh, you know we uh, we uh, penalize this uh, if we collision or off road give minor five. If we stop on the road, no moving give minor 10. Otherwise, we give a you know, reward in other case. This uh, R1 
uh, rule of five. Now for R2, uh, this collision will get a minor one. This uh, overall the minor 0. 0.8. And uh, if we're no moving on the road, we give a minor one. And this is the we encourage, uh, you know, uh, vehicle run uh, faster in, in land, but uh, slower than uh, uh, limited uh, speed. And uh, if uh, this uh, not in land, we just, uh, you know, times uh, the point eight factor on this S. So we try uh, these two uh, reward functions. You see, R1 used as a real world function, seems the agent cannot learn anything from the training, during the training. It's not good because you will decrease. However, if we use R2 as the real world function, during the training, agent cannot receive uh, you know, more and more reward from the training process. That means uh, R2 is used as the real world function is much better than the R1. For more details, please check with this reference. Thank you. Bye.